for trees being eaten up by deer like mine we built the we got these great little trees we got some tulip poplars and some pear trees and all kinds of stuff but they're just getting mowed down by those pesky deer so we had put them in tomato cages like the ones over there that you buy at walmart for a couple of bucks and they worked all right when the trees were small enough i wrapped them in bird cage kept the deer kind of away from you know eating the trees down to the nubs but now the trees are getting bigger they've way outgrown those tomato cages they don't make them any bigger than that so enter the galvanized wire cage all i did was bought uh 50 100 feet something like that of this uh two inch by four inch i think is what they call it galvanized wire all you do is figure out your diameter you snip it right there at the corners push snip it right at these joints and then by doing that you end up with a tail that tail you just wrap around the other ones form it into a cage really most of them you can just bend straight over but probably two or three you want to take them and wrap them all the way around fully around that wire and then that just keeps it from uh, slipping and sliding then all you got to do is walk over to your tree drop it down right over the top center it up Make sure you got plenty of room inside there. Look at that, beautiful. Then take a couple of uh, landscaping stakes that you can buy at uh, any hardware store, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. Um, and then you take those staples and you just put them around these as a U. And then that'll hold them in place so that nothing can knock them over. Uh, I actually noticed that, let's see how well the camera does. You notice this as you step away from them, they actually don't look too bad. They uh, kind of disappear a little bit. Those ones over there, you actually can't even see the cages until I zoom in a little bit. As you can see, they're not, you see actually more of the tree than you see of the cage. So they're not incredibly tacky, actually less tacky even than those red and yellow cages were and they should keep the trees safe from the deer and you can technically make these in any size you want so i could get as big of a tree as i wanted to and hopefully they get to that size someday not like that little dead one over there uh because that one apparently didn't get enough water and died but these ones should hopefully get huge uh i think that's a tulip poplar it'll probably go to 75 80 feet someday so probably when i'm dead but it'll grow it there someday so there you go, cheap tomato cages, or you could use them as tomato cages, you could use them as tree cages, you could use them to protect just about anything for pretty simple, um, not too expensive.